This is getting cooler. I love this. Oh, that felt so good. Ill a couple of days ago, just, just a little bit of sickness, just in the head, throat, not feeling great, probably to do with the SC, not a big deal, but the discipline and experience to back off, just leave it, just don't try and run through it, don't try and train, I was due for a big session and I was really looking forward to a big hill session. Just have a rest day. Yesterday, go out and walk with, what have you done? My cat's destroying the house. Yesterday, go out and walk with just a, a little bit of running in between 100 meters running, 200 meters running, then 300 meters, then 500 meters running. And today I've just gone out and done 27 minutes, 27 minutes and 29 seconds, just below 30 minutes, but that feels great. And the reason it feels great is because I had the discipline and the experience to leave, just don't chase fit, that's the thing, do not chase fitness, you cannot chase fitness, it's gotta to come to you, it's gotta come gradually to you, it's about stretching the elastic band on that interval session, stretching the elastic band on, on the long run, gaining that fitness and then recovery runs and easy runs in between, but avoiding injury and illness like the plague. So when it does come, which is so rare for me to get ill, but when it does come, you've got to, Okay, right, problem, how do we get through it? And this is what distance running teaches you, how to problem solve on the go, because problems will arise. You problem solve, okay, I have something, okay, a little bit of check on myself, don't need to go to the doctor or hospital, it's in the head, it's in <clears throat> headache, sore throat, still feel it now, cough, dry cough, but it's not below the throat, and therefore it's not getting to the lungs, and therefore I just need to proceed with caution. Go easy, take it, take simple steps, go for a walk, see if you feel like it, don't be afraid to back off. And then when you can do something like today, don't overdo it, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. The problem most people have with injury and illness and start, stop, when they get back to it, is they try to jump straight back into the training where they left off or straight back into the next session. But in actual fact, you need to back off, take stock of the big picture, Okay, where did I start, where's the goal? And then jump in and go easy and feel your body out. And what I mean by that is, see how I'm feeling, see how the body reacts. Just get, the head is so much stronger than the body. Once you get to that point where your head is strong and then you're, it's happening, I, my kit's laid out, I'm going for a run, it's happening. That discipline can, can be your best threat friend and it can also be your worst enemy unless you learn to control it. That mindset is so strong that you have to learn to control it because it will push you past the barriers or the limits that your body can go. And that's what you don't want in running. You want to be strong mentally, but you don't want to be too strong that your, body, your mind is not listening to what your body's doing. It's about listening to your body and its capabilities and then moving forward. Hope that's useful for somebody because I feel great now after running.